everyone, it's Luz with Love here and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are a regular. Today I have a very very special collab for you because I am collaborating with Sim Sundays from YouTube. I'll link her channel down below, definitely do check her out as well. And we are doing a Big Bang Theory themed collab. So the way this works is I build the apartment and she creates the characters. And now that you can see me uh, create the outline, I do actually create outline for both Penny's and Leonard and Children's apartment. But I will only furnish Leonard and Children's apartment because there was so much going into this. <laughs> and I knew that if I did both, this video would be crazy long. So maybe I'll do Penny's apartment later on in a later video, but this is just the main apartment from the TV series. I don't want to spoil it for you, so let's just call it Leonard and Sheldon's apartment. <laughs> and for the collab, uh, Sunday Sims and I, uh, sorry, Sims Sundays, because her uh, Instagram is Sunday Sims and her YouTube is Sims Sundays. Um, that's why I get it confused. <laughs> Anyways, we have agreed on doing a bit of a different voiceover for this. And instead of just talking you through the build, which I will do sometimes, um, we thought we'd do a Q&A. So we wrote down a couple of questions that we can answer for you in the video while we're doing the voiceover so that you can get to know us a little better. So definitely check out her video as well because she's going to be answering some questions as well. And we have like a big pile of questions that we're going to be answering. So I'm just going to randomly be choosing some while I am recording this. So the first question is, what are your hobbies other than playing The Sims? Yeah, I like to do a lot of things. So I. I love yoga, I love all things exercise, but I only exercise by myself. I don't like group sports <laughs> because I'm just not a team player. <laughs> I also like other games besides The Sims. I really enjoy RPG games. I love The Witcher 3. I'm currently replaying that. That's my favorite game of all time. Sorry, Sims, but that's the truth. <laughs> I also play the ukulele and I love singing, I love music, so that's that's about it. I also really enjoy writing and it's actually what I do freelance on the side of studying. Which basically answers another question, which is what do you do for a living? <laughs> I'm a student and I also freelance. I do have a waitressing job, but now that you know the coronavirus situation is happening, I, I'm not sure if I'll be coming back there because I'm gonna be moving in a couple of months. And the next question is, what are your thoughts on the upcoming Sims 4 expansion pack, Eco Lifestyle? And I can't wait for Eco Lifestyle. I have been kind of waiting for a while. I have tweeted a little about how excited I am for this, but I have been waiting for the, you know, main craze about the announcement to go away before I <laughs> talk more about it. But I do plan on doing like a speed build Eco video where I talk about what I think about it. But in short, I, I can't wait. Never been this excited for a pack to come out. <laughs> and the next question is, uh, have you got any new exciting news that you'd like to share in connection with your YouTube channel? And I do, because we just hit 200 subscribers last night and I was super excited for that. I'm really happy about how my channel is growing and I want to thank you guys so much for supporting it because I would have never imagined when I started with posting my first video, what, three weeks ago, that I already have 200 subscribers at this point. It's crazy. <laughs> and connected to that goes a question, why did you decide to start a YouTube channel? And basically, I have been thinking about doing YouTube for a really, really long time. I'm talking a couple of years. And when I got into the Sims Twitter community and I started talking to people, I saw that quite a few people like myself are doing, you know, uh, just for fun channels with a couple hundred subscribers, n no stress, just something for fun. And I thought, I may want to try that. And then I got a message from Kay Simmer who was like, hey, wh why are you not recording videos? Start recording videos. <laughs> and I was like, well, I don't, I don't really have time and things like that. But then I thought about it more and I'm like, huh, I should probably start recording videos. <laughs> and so I did. <laughs> and the next question that uh, Sim Sundays gave me is, I know you like Harry Potter. Which book slash movie is your favorite? 
so I actually like the fourth and the sixth book the best so that's called Build of the Fire and Half Blood Prince but uh, I don't like the movies <laughs> because they leave quite a bit out my favorite movies are actually like the first three if I were to say which one is like the favorite I would say number three Prisoner of Azkaban because these movies didn't really leave much out because they're shorter books so that's why they are my favorite movies now as, as we are chatting and talking about the question let me just talk about the build for a little while before we get into the other questions so you can see that I am using the dolls from the kids rooms um, you know as superhero figures and things like that I'm trying to clutter it up with a lot of books everywhere I put down a sofa the two carpets sorry rugs not carpets I really wanted to make this look very lived in because that's the way it is in the show it looks very lived in and there's plenty of stuff lying around everywhere and there's a lot of you know books nerdy kind of things <laughs> and I love that big window as well on the side I use the Moschino window because I love the Moschino windows and honestly who doesn't <laughs> but let's get back to the questions while you're watching me build uh, the next one is would you rather only be able to play the sims 1 2 3 or 4 and I know a lot of people are very uh, strongly opinionated about Sims 3 and it being the best, but I think that I would still rather play Sims 4. Honestly, I think I'd rather play Sims 2 than I would play Sims 3. <laughs> but that's because Sims 2 is such nostalgia for me. Now coming back into the build, you can see that I'm using those lamps and I'm sizing them down to create that you know, what is it? I think Sheldon says at some point that it's like a prototype of the genetic code of a super advanced human race. One of his real, rare failures, actually. I think that's what he says. But I, I was really proud of myself of coming up with that idea of using the lamp to do that because I was like, well, how am I going to do that? I'm just not going to include it because I, I, ca I can't. <laughs> but I came up with a way to do it. Um, so let's get back into the questions again. Uh, would you sim rather settle down and start a family or woohoo with as many sims as possible? And I am a very much a wholesome sims player. I love my sims to live in cute little suburban houses or like cottages and you know uh, marry their high school boyfriend and only be with one person through their whole life and like while that does not necessarily 100% reflect my views. I like to play my sims that way because it just makes me feel very comfortable and it just makes me feel very happy when my sims are just like, you know, with their family and they're having a good time. <laughs> I do plan on doing some more drama kind of playthroughs and maybe a let's play, but yeah, I, I do like to play you know, the wholesome way. <laughs> and the next question is, would you rather only be able to use get together, get famous or get to work? And I don't have get to work, so I guess I would not use that because I don't have it. But I do have a get together and get famous. And I will have to say get together because I was really hyped about get famous and I bought it before I got get together and I was really excited for it. But guys, I don't know about you, but on my computer, the actor career is broken. Your sims will not go to work if they have traveled between getting the gig and having to go to work, which if you live in Del Sol Valley, you'll probably want to travel because you want to go to like award shows and karaoke nights. So that kind of sucks. And that's the reason why I will say get together, even though you know, maybe even if the actor career worked properly, I would still say get together. I still have to explore get together a lot because I only recently got it. And the next question from Sim Sundays is, would you rather be able to play every video game but The Sims forever or only be able to play The Sims for the rest of your life? And this is a very hard question for me. Like, I don't know how to answer this. <laughs> so let me think. Obviously, The Sims has much more replay value and like the other games that I play are generally like RPGs and maybe other simulation games as well. But yeah, I usually play things like The Witcher or I like XCOM. I really enjoy Dragon Age. 
and things like that. I've been playing Guild Wars 2 with my boyfriend recently. So, while I... I really don't know how to answer this, guys, because, like, Sims has so much replay value and there's so many packs that makes really, truly every playthrough so different. I don't know. I, I think I'd say The Sims, but I would be very brokenhearted about making this choice, you know what I mean? <laughs> so let's get back into what I'm building for a second again. So now you see that I have gone on to build the kitchen now. And the kitchen is very, very cluttered in this apartment. Like there's not a space to chop off your veggies. <laughs> Maybe on the kitchen island, but like functionally in The Sims, I think this kitchen works because there are the island counters, but none of the normal counters can actually be used to, you know, cook. <laughs> and you know how Leonard has that Batman cookie jar? I try to replicate it, so I kind of like merged a cookie jar and a superhero figurine. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny, but yeah. Um, so now coming back to the question. Um, do you play Legacy? And if you do, how far have you gotten with your biggest Legacy family? And I was never a Legacy player before, but I started a Legacy about like nine months ago, I want to say. And I play it alongside other things. I think I'm on the fourth generation now, but I do have aging turned off and I sort of age them up when I feel like it. So a lot of my young adults have kind of been, you know, young adults for way longer than they would be if I had aging on. And also, I I don't like to let my sims die. <laughs> so, basically, the second generation... I, I did let the first generation die, but the second generation is still in the world. And one of the second generation are two moms. So one of them is an elder and one of them is an adult. And the third generation are still both young adults, even though their daughters are both young adults now as well. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm bad at legacy, <laughs> but I do enjoy it from time to time. Now, as you can see in the video now, I am uh, doing the workspace of the two guys, which you may be wondering, Lucy, are, are you stupid? Where's the TV? There's definitely a TV in this apartment. They watch it a lot. They play on it a lot. The thing is, I didn't realize <laughs> we never see the TV in the show <laughs> and I was using reference images. So, I mean, we don't technically see much of the desks either, but I kind of could come up with what is there. I will come back there and add a TV like last minute, just like a minute before the video ends because I will realize once I get to Leonard's bedroom like, oh wait, wasn't there supposed to be a TV? <laughs> so yeah, I, I will come back to that if that is bothering you. <laughs> but now I'm moving on to the bedrooms and the bathroom and I played around with the floor plan a bit because I wasn't happy with how it fit. And the bathroom was probably the higher this part because the signature thing about this bathroom is that there is the periodic table shower curtain and obviously we don't have that in The Sims. But yeah, the, I think the bathroom turned out okay-ish. It's like we have very few scenes in the show that happen in the bathroom and it's kind of plain. There's not much about it. So that's the way it is in this build. <laughs> I think once you get to the bedrooms, it's gonna be a little more fun to watch. <laughs> and let me just get back to another question from the uh, list of questions that we have. And that is, what is the longest time you ever spent on a build in The Sims? And I think that would be about... I had a build that I built so long ago for an old family that I played rags to riches with and I built them like a huge mansion kind of house and I think I spent like 10 hours on that I never posted it because I it, it doesn't look that good <laughs> it was just huge and like the furnishings are okay but, but the landscaping well it's non-existent there's no landscaping in that build and then I ended up not really playing in it because I lost my game saves for some reason. And yeah, I, I can't show you the build guys because yeah, I lost it. But 
that thing that is the longest I have ever spent on a build. Anyways, the moral you want to take from that is back up your saves for the love of God, back up your saves. <laughs> Just take your saves folder in The Sims and copy paste it somewhere else on your computer and as well on like an external hard drive because it's gonna save your life. <laughs> Anyways. So now you can see that I'm doing Sheldon's bedroom at the moment. There's a lot of posters and we only ever see this bedroom from like one particular angle, which is from the right of the door, looking, you know, at the bed and the sort of shelves and wardrobes there. He has like open storage, but I couldn't find anything that would look like it. So I just sized down these big bookshelves from, is it kids room stuff? I think so. I set them down and I put them there as like a little open storage shelf. But these bedrooms are just full of clutter and they are full of posters. There's so many posters and pictures everywhere in this build because you know that that's the way it kind of is in the show and then I realized that Sheldon actually has like pictures above the bed, she doesn't have posters. Obviously there's quite a few posters in The Sims, but they are all quite unique. So like you can kind of notice that one poster repeats itself. But you know, I, I think it works. There's, you know, that, uh, I think that poster with the man holding a pistol, like the space kind of looking thing. <laughs> The science fiction poster, that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> I think that's inspired by Mass Effect. I think I read that somewhere. And I think even the description talks about something like Commander Shepard, which is from Mass Effect. So yeah, a lot of posters and now I'm moving on to Leonard's bedroom. So let's answer another question. Is there a challenge in The Sims that she would never do? And yes, there is because I would never do the 100 baby challenge. <laughs> I have had somebody request it on Twitter and I was like, I really like to take your requests seriously and I wanna do what you guys want me to record and I wanna create content for you, not for myself. But the one thing that I will never do is the 100 baby challenge. <laughs> Why? Because it honestly feels like it's the same no matter who does it. It takes a lot of time and while I do enjoy watching somebody's challenge, I, I, I do, don't want to play it. I've tried it. I've tried it. I got to like the seventh kid and I rage quit. <laughs> That's about it. I don't know. I do get fed up with raising kids in The Sims quite quickly. <laughs> So um, that's the reason why I don't want to play this challenge because I know that if I did play it for a long time I would never have my sims have kids again. <laughs> Anyways, coming back to the video, now you can see that I have realized that the TV is missing so I'm moving everything over, I have to move all the stuff that's on the desks up, you know, to the side and I put in like a little flat screen TV and I put down a, like two of the consoles that we have and the AI kind of thing because I thought of course they would have more than one consoles you know they're nerds <laughs> and they apparently have the money which I mean I'm also a nerd but I don't have the money so good for them <laughs> and I'm just finishing up Leonard's bedroom now I did add a couple of plants there because I thought you know maybe he'd like some Sheldon not probably now we are getting into the screenshots i hope you have enjoyed the build and that you have enjoyed the voiceover which was a little different this time let me know if you would like me to do a voiceovers like this more often or if you prefer me kind of talking you through the build anyways thank you so much for watching make sure to also check out sim sunday's videos because she is creating the characters for this build and I would love to see you in the next video. Subscribe, like, and comment, please. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!